you been practicing? Yeah, we're streaming, by the way. Oh, okay. Oh, streaming? Well, not 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 oh, streaming. Oh, local recording. Just, just local recording. Oh, okay. I figured. I'm, I'm focused. Hold on. First try, boom, ha, hee, <laughs> ah, woo, hey everybody, welcome to the, I think this is the Untouched Gamer, Untouched Gamer, and she gets all the credit for this happening, no, that was totally uh, super with the controller, what, received potion, antidote, gold needle, and a hundred gill, oh, set a new record, there we go, 10,000, 10,000 gill, all right, everybody. There's the ten thousand. Wait. Whew. What are we gonna spend it on? All right. Um. What do you mean? Uh. Memo. Save game. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Well, welcome to the un un Untouched Gamer. Whew! I was so focused. Absolutely so focused. Um, I'm handed the controller over to Leia. Uh, you have 12,984 gil, rocking and rolling, rocking and reeling. Um, so there we go. Um, welcome to Final Fantasy 1, everybody! Hey, aren't you excited? Isn't this just a highlight of your week? Like, comment, and subscribe if you want Final Fantasy to be two times a week. Uh, currently, uh, we have um a set schedule we are doing um this is of course our um tuesday uh videos is final fantasy and you get that for about an hour um or however long or however long long however we can long manage I it's stay up. It, it's it's you, more than 30 minutes uh more than 30 <laughs> minutes probably yeah. probably 30 minutes to an hour it all depends um, on how much sleep I want to get tonight. <laughs> Thursday, yeah. Thursdays uh, is when we do our Minecraft playthrough. Um, that's usually 40 minutes, uh, 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, it's it's Minecraft's not usually an, an hour. Um, that's due to limitations because we're playing Minecraft PE on my phone. Yeah, and that's um, you, your phone can only record so much and have Minecraft running at yeah. the same time. Yeah. Um, and, and, and I like to have the quality of the, the video fairly decent. Um, and if I reduce the quality too much uh, to where... Really I, then, yeah. Um, which, I mean, our, our video quality isn't absolutely the best thing in the world anyway because we don't have exactly the greatest equipment and everything. Um, that's okay. But, but that's okay. You can see what's uh, happening. Okay, so... Things that you're gonna need. Um, Let's see what this does. Can no, we don't want. Hold on. Uh, you need uh, to go back and go to the white magic thing. Okay, the white magic things you need. Uh, let me. Let, let me. Let you me. Want the walkthrough. <laughs> well, I just don't want to mess something up here. Um, let me. Let me pull up my. My little thing. Uh, I I'm pretty sure you want see go and see what heal one does. It heals Everybody. everyone. So you definitely, definitely want to get one. heal one. Um, For Dill. Yeah, the the white mage. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, and uh, no fire. look at what Dia two does. Um, I think that hits all undead foes at the same time. You so might, it's but killing zombies. Hold on. Uh, Final Fantasy one oh one origins P 
PS1. Um, so go to the other white magic place. There's another magic place in here. Um, over here. Um, I'm, I'm trying to find the one that I, um... I've got Asuna Cures Poison. No, uh, well, oh wait, actually... It, No, items are good for that. Don't get a sooner. Drives foes away in town. Tell you what. Um, you take the controller for a second and take a look at the different stuff to buy. I just remembered that the clothes need to be put in the dryer. Oh, right okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I've got the information here. Um, I just have to scroll down to it. Um, I guess I could pull it up on the computer instead of on my phone, but... Okay, first of all, we never went to... Um, Matoya's cave. You never went to Matoya's cave? Yeah. Um, Hello. But, uh, let's see. It says, uh, cure two, dia two, and heal one. And haste we need we need haste so let's see man okay so we got haste exactly how much backtracking do we have to do now well, I I don't. Well, I mean, we do we do need to go. To, well, I don't know. I don't know that we really need anything from Matoya's cave. Um. Okay. Did you get heal? Uh, yeah. Um. Hey, baby. So, let's see. Ice to 40 to 160. Um, muddle? Should, does muddle work? Okay, haste. Um, it says bolt to and, okay, so let's go get, um, is there a bolt to over here? Was there a bolt to? Oh, walk in front of my, walked in my way. I might have to do the ship mini game if we run out of money again. I think, I, I think it says I can do it twice. I think that's what I understand it says. But, uh. Okay, we're going to give him Bolt 2. Oh, that's a level 3. And we'll give him Fire 2. Paralyzes a foe. Lowers evasion. Oh. Okay, so we're going to give him a level 3 white spell. Because he doesn't need any of those. So we got Bolt 2, Fire 2... And I'm gonna uh Okay. Hey, do you want your red mage to have 
to cure two um, where he can heal one person for a lot? Or do you want ha him to have where he can heal everybody? Probably one person a lot. If you're using him for healing, it's an emergency, right? Yeah, well, she's going to have both. She should have um, Cure 2, Dia 2, and Heal 1 is what I'm wearing. So you'd have Scout have both? Yeah, and he's just going to have the, the Cure. Okay, so there we go. Now she's going to get, she's got Heal already, so she needs that. And she needs that. You want to go sit up here with Daddy? Yeah, come sit up here with Daddy. All right. Um, I'm going to go do the boat mini game to get us some more money again. Uh, I'm going to pause the recording. Because 10,000 um, guilders yeah. wasn't quite enough. So we're going to pause. <laughs> All right. So what you have to do, I'm going to just show everybody um, in case. Hey, come on. Hey, baby. It's baby, okay. it's okay. I'm going to show everybody. What you're going to do is you're going to get the one and the two up here. It's pretty easy. Um, and then just my three and my four happens to be in a good location. Um, you get the four and the three. Do that top row. Okay, so now I'm going to snake my five and my six over here. Okay, five and six. Okay, and just uh, five is the head of the snake, six is the tail. So we keep move everything out of the way. Five and the six. Now, seven is the head, eight is the tail. We need to move the eight out of there and get it over there, right? Okay, so seven is the head, eight is the tail. And so we're going to snake the seven down there, down here, over here, over here, over here. All right. Uh, but we need them in a, in a different direction. We need the eight actually to be the head. So now we turned him around. Okay, now let's snake him up there. Snake. All right. Over, over. And snake this eight up and the seven follows. That's a tail. Now we need the nine and the 13 right here. Okay, so we will do this. 13 is the head. Nine's the tail. 13 snakes over. Okay, 13 down, 9 over there. Okay, now what we need is the 10 and the 14, and the 14 is the head, and this is in a really good spot. Okay, snake it on over, 14 down, 10 the tail, 11 up there, 15 over. All right, broke the second best record. And actually, I guess probably I shouldn't have done it. I should have waited until moving the last one. Uh, and it would have been easier to get um, 10,000 because I could have broken my record by just one second over and over and over again. So I probably could get a lot more. You know, what you want to do is get it right where you have that last move. And that right at a minute 59, move it over. And then on your next game, get it right there. And then right so, at a minute 58, so better, move it over. Not too bad. Yeah. Um, because now you have to kind of beat your own record. Um, so it's, but there you go. Okay. I'm going to pause it again now so that I can do this a few more times just to get a us a little bit more money. Alright, get us back to town and stuff. Yeah, I'm going. Uh, so, um, I did pretty good. Um, we got to fight all these warg wolf thingies. The warg of the wolves? Warg wolves. That's like that, that book where like... Yeah, the where, where the Martians get... Uh, the warg of the wolves? Yeah. What do you know about that book? Uh... Spoilers. I don't know. I, I seem to remember that something that seemed kind of stupid ended, what, ended up defeating the Martians. Um, it was uh, Tom Cruise running. Tom Cruise running defeated the Martians. What? They made a movie too? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, well, the second you said Tom Cruise, I knew he had to be him running because even, of course. Though, even, even though I've never seen a movie with Tom Cruise in it. <laughs> Have I just, showed you the Tom Cruise running montage? Yes. It's you, on YouTube. Okay. You showed me the Tom Cruise <laughs> running montage. You told me, okay, you told me Tom Cruise runs in every single movie he's in, and I, like, really, I didn't believe you, so you found, like, a mon the running montage of him, like, him running in a whole bunch of different yeah. movies, and I'm like, okay, fine, I believe you, but I've never seen a Tom Cruise movie. Well, good, you're not missing anything. Eh. They're, they're terrible. He, uh... So he should have been a runner? Well, it's, he's a he's a he's a one trick pony. He he is absolutely as an actor a one trick pony. 
Uh, he, uh, there's no there's no depth of character in there. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like Tom Cruise, and tell me how wrong I am for hating all over his acting abilities. But um, he's never played a different person other than a. I don't know. He's so. He's kind of like I don't know John Wayne or something. No, John no, no, Wayne no, 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 no. John Wayne Wayne. plays an actual character. I'm saying Tom Cruise plays <laughs> one expression. Oh. One <laughs> single expression. That's one single look on his face. That's all that's, that's ever there. At full tilt. Uh, <laughs> that's that's really confused, panicked. Oh no! I have what's going on. I run away from things in everything. Really. Uh. That's the, just look at the look on his face ain't in any one of his movies. I challenge you to find a, a, a shot of Tom Cruise, even in even when he's doing that interview uh, on Oprah. He's got the same <laughs> look on his face of just he has absolutely no idea what's going on. He's in a blind panic and he's just running as fast as he can from something that he can't understand. That's the look that he has on his face all the time. Like, comment, subscribe, yeah. especially if you like uh, Tom Cruise. Uh, or if you like Tom Hanks, or if you like Tom Brady, or if you like Ted Cruz, uh, like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> and tell me what you think about those guys. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's all that good. That was kind of funny that one time I got Ted Cruz and Tom Cruz mixed up. Yeah, yeah, that, that was um, quite hilarious. <laughs> I need some level two magic, too. We don't, we've got some useless level two slots that we need to uh, go ahead and fill up. Um, so, level four. Four, I got haste. Of course, he can't use it yet. Um, and she has heal and a cure too. But some level two slots would be nice. But we came here for equipment. So now we are just going to get the biggest, nastiest swords these people have to offer. Here we go. Um, mithril sword. Two of these. Boom! Sabers is equal to his guy, Crosshair, Dagger, Iron Nunchuck. Okay, so two Mithril Swords. So uh, go in here and equip those. Optimize. Optimize, optimize. optimize. Okay, and we'll get some Defendy stuff. Okay, and so I'll go get you some armor. Yay! This, we're just we're just setting up, you know, getting uh, getting Leia in a position to where she can actually go and survive quest wise. You know, get get her. Um, so who's Tom Hanks? Uh, Tom Hanks is um, another actor as well. Uh, he did Forrest Gump and Cast Away and Wait, is he the Apollo 13 guy? And, yeah, Apollo 13. Okay. There we go. Because I've seen a little um, bit of Apollo 13. So one copper armlet is good for someone. One iron shield is good for someone. And um, I think that's all anyone needs. Wow. Huh. Which is funny because I saw, you know, documentaries and stuff um, about the with with interviews hey. with the real people of Apollo who were with that Apollo 13 mission. Um, so when I did see little bits of Apollo 13, the movie, I was like, "Oh boy, he's wearing the vest!" Because the uh, mission control guy always had the, these vests. He always had a vest that he wore. And so when. When I watched the movie Apollo 13, I'm like, oh, he's wearing the vest. Gotcha. He, looks, he looks just like he looks just like the real guy. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, so what did Even I say? Even though I Tom to Hanks get... did not look a thing okay. like Jim Lovell, not at all. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, I got my bolt two fire two cure two. I guess there they were picking a. And I got my heal and Dia place. and cure. So we need to go back to the previous town. <laughs> And buy level two magic for everybody. Um, All right. Can okay, I drive? there you go. Yep. yep. <laughs> now you can go. Are you saved? 
Um, since no, that's another thing. You should go in the inn and go ahead money, and sleep and save. Yeah. Should... Like I can't just get it back. <laughs> Um, and Still. this is an actual thing in the game, so it's not cheating. We have all this money completely, legitimately, pure skill. Uh, so kudos to us. We're the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rah, rah, rah. Um, Whoops. Uh, memory Wrong. card two, I think, is where it is. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Boink. There you Yay. go. So uh, what we need to do now is turn the fan on. We need to turn the fan on. I'm driving. <laughs> Can you turn the fan? On? You're closer, and I'm All wearing the right. headset. You're closer. Okay, That's now right. I'm driving again. I got the controller from her, guys. Here I go. You better not be playing the little slidey puzzle again. <laughs> Quick, let's play the slidey puzzle again. Oh, please, no. Hop in the hop in the boat. Get on the boat. I'm on the back. boat. I'm on a boat. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Look look at how many numbers we hit hit with. Yeah. Uh, we hit them with big numbers. Bye bye Jaws. Yeah, there you go. Here, da, she's da, got the controller da, again. Da, da, da. She's got the controller again. Alright. So uh Yeah. Um, let me, I will, I will investigate <coughs> the, um, uh, our, our little thing. Ooh, he hit twice. That's cool. Ooh. Whoever has the mithril sword, mithril swords obviously get to hit twice sometimes. Well, I think that's mainly their level, um, not because uh, it's based on their speed is hitting twice. Oh. Yeah, speed is based on how many times you hit, and then, uh, yeah, and, boom. And yeah. <laughs> but but I'm I'm not I'm not one hundred percent sure how it works. But anyway, um. Boo is still missing everything. <laughs> Yeah, we'll we'll get him. Is Boo ever gonna be useful? <laughs> uh, yeah, when he becomes a ninja, um, so we'll be once, fine. So once Boo gains um, enough levels, he'll be better. All right, I think this is the right dock. Okay, so. No. Okay. Um. You want to buy ice for? Your red mage. Okay. Um. And there's not really. I mean, you can get whatever. Um, whatever magic you want. Um. Boom. Get, there's there's no real good white magic. Um. There's not really any good magic. Um, for level three. Um, but just get whatever you want. Um, just because they're they're unused slots. Otherwise. Um, it's, yeah. Might as well, you yeah, know, having them is better than not having them, kind of thing. Better to have it, not need it, and need it, and not have it. My dad always said. Yeah, like insurance, uh, flood insurance, and uh, things like that. So, always, uh, always make sure you get uh, renter's insurance if you're renting kids or, uh, if you have a home, you want to have homeowner's insurance. Um, uh, I think you're looking for the magic shop, which is to the right, oh, on the, the right-hand right side. The, well, there's absolutely nothing here. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so we will, yeah, uh, the black one's down there and the white one's right there. So this white one, just... Um, Let's see what we got. Uh, what's lamp say it does? Just cures darkness. Go down. Prevents foes from casting spells. Um, Raises evasion. So, um, yeah, uh, I would say... I want to get silence. Silence, new bolt, and invis for your white mage. For Dill. 
Uh, the thing is, we can use items to cure darkness, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, so, but items can't do the other ones. Um, so that works. So then go and get the black magic. Don't give any white magic to your guy. To a scout? Yeah. Go, uh, go down to the, the blacky one. Uh, the attacky stuff. And, uh, ice just gives him an extra attack thing. Yeah, ice, steel, and see what fog says it does. Uh, does that say blind split? Okay, reduces their attacks. And what does fog? Blinds them. That makes them miss more often. And steel raises the attack. And he definitely wants steel because you can use steel on your uh, your two guys. He'll be using that a lot, really. And ice and steel. And it's your choice whether you want fog or slow. I don't know that there's any difference between the two. Or, um, what were the white magic ones? You could give him one of the white magic ones. Was yeah. there any white magic one that you thought that you liked over there? Let me see. Again, they're not that good, but... Our, our other options is... Uh, Fire and anything. Is... Um, Silence. Google. I think I'm going to give him that one, too. Okay. Give her that one. Yeah. I like it. I like it. All right. All right. So, now we go back to the elf place? Um, yeah, so... Now we uh, we're we're doing pretty good. I, well, I'm wondering if you need anything from Matoya's cave. Um, Hello. You you just Hello. get a Hello. couple Hello. potions and an antidote. Oh. Um. So potions and antidote that would be at the stuff shop, right? No, no. I'm saying at Matoya's cave you can get you know. Oh. But. All right. I'm going to memo this. Okay. Yeah. And if you hit start and circle at the same time, and this is what you would learn at Matoya's Cave, uh, if you hit start and circle at the same time, it's changing the map. So, there's the map. Oh, okay. Uh, so that's... And R scrolls... Um, Or something. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah. I think I'm gonna go get on my boat. Yeah. So now, um, boat. now uh, back at Elfham, you go in the castle. Have you gone in the castle? No, I have not gone in the castle. I've been too busy going back and forth <laughs> getting stuff. Okay. So yeah uh you need to go to to the castle and uh and and talk to folks and figure out where you're supposed to go and what your quest is now you are equipped you have Ow. plenty of plenty of stuff and you have characters that can actually yeah. do damage you are um you are doing it so so we might be able to start uh, making regular progress now with this uh, amount of um, extra gold that we have so that we won't have to stop and grind uh, and we should be able with these weapons to kill everything yeah I know you took two steps uh, kill everything that uh, that comes our way so we'll get um, the experience this is actually good that you're getting into fights on the way to places because yeah. that means you won't have to stop and just walk back and forth randomly trying to get into battles later when when we you know because you you need to get experience so that you're stronger uh so uh, that's a good thing uh it might be Ouch. a little bit boring that we're fighting these little what what do you think uh that sahagin uh you know cause, probably something from some you know folk teller mythology well it's just um you know, Japanese has this thing where they 
they'll put vowels after constants where we don't. So well, you have to have every yeah every syllable, syllable has to have a vowel. To have I know. A vowel. Um, so is that just was it? Uh, you know. But surely that would have shug in or I don't know. Surely that would have been like something that would have been changed by you know. We don't know how much of the names of the different little things are affected by translation. Yeah. And this has gone through multiple translations. They've right. redone the translation on it and updated the translation. Yeah. So maybe they're just using uh, names from the other Final Fantasies, you know, because I see, oh, you know, Gigasworm and stuff. Yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, so that guy's club is bigger than your 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 whole person. <laughs> So he just hit him for one with that club. It must have just barely grazed him. Uh, so that's a that's a pretty big ogre there. But you took him down. All right. Uh, so yeah, you just got to go into the castle there. Um. Oh wait, wait, wait! Stop. I need to save before I go into the castle. Okay, we'll just save it in the memo. You don't have to sleep in the thing. Just save it in the memo. Okay. See, do You don't have to save it in and every single time. Just save it in the memo. You didn't press the right button. I pressed the circle button instead of X. Okay, there you go. Now run on in there. Make the magic happen. You went in the wrong place. Everyone, she is a precision <laughs> instrument of skill and aerodynamics. <laughs> she is able to walk into a castle. All right, so uh, here we go. Uh, he is going on inside the castle. Talk to everybody. Astos oh. is curse has plunged our prince into a deep sleep and nothing seems to wake him. Have you tried kissing him? Uh. Okay, so they say the same Oh, thing. it must be a song. Astos kiss has plunged the prince into a deep sleep and we can't wake him. Astos stormed him one day cast a curse on a prince and emptied all the castle's treasure vaults. Oh! We need to go defeat him for the wrongdoing he has done. Now, you say he's taken all the treasure in the vaults? We must bring him to justice. We will find him as soon as possible. Be out of the goodness of our hearts, right? Right, 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 Leia? We, we're gonna I go get him out of the goodness of our I don't hearts. I think we have a choice because we're kind of like the chosen one or something. Well, so. but but surely we must help everyone, considering that he made off with all the treasure in the castle. Man, where are you hinting at? You keep talking at me like. Well, I'm just <laughs> saying he's got all the treasure. I guess I need And if we defeat him. him, we might also be able to then take all the Astos treasure back from him. Five years ago, causing him to fall into a deep slumber. What, what can lift this curse? Well, I'm assuming you haven't tried kissing him. Well, go over to the side of him and try kissing him. Smooch! Smooch! Nothing happened. Nothing happened. All right. We didn't really kiss him. Alright, so, um, let's see. Um, wait, let's see. Do, 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 do. Alright, so there's a cave west of here where dwarves dwell. I guess we have to go to the cave. Yeah, uh, you leave the castle and go west. Go west, young man. Um, there are ghasts in the area. They can paralyze you, so kill them quickly. And, um, as you fight, you'll get pretty good experience, so make sure you kill the folks. 
oh, you might want to go to the town and the item shop and buy uh, items to cure poison and uh, paralyze or to, to see what see what items that there are. Um, Uh, so, it's usually best to save your red mage's magic until your white mage runs out. Okay. Just keep your red mage just beaten with his sword until you really need his, and, and you, and because he's going to do more damage than the white mage. Uh, that way, if you gotta heal somebody, use the white mage. But yeah, go into town, and now you can sleep and save it. But first, you want to go to the item shop and buy uh, lots, lots of antidotes and uh, tents or sleeping bags or whatever. Just lots of supplies from the item okay. shop. Since we have near unlimited money. Um, Shop is to all the way to the left. All no, on the bottom. bottom. Yeah. Yeah, just keep on going. Oh, there it is. No, that's the. Uh, you want to go up? No, not in there. That's the shieldy place. You want to go up? Oh, as, did you get everyone the best of shields? Yeah. Uh, there. There we go. Um. Yeah, I've got everybody the best of everything. I wouldn't be letting you spend all our hard-earned money, our 31 grand. Uh, okay, just hit up until it stops. Hold in up. Yeah, there you go. Keep There you go. Keep going. Is that all you can get? Yeah. Hit, hit the button. Boom! Boom! 87 antidotes. Okay, click on potion and do the same thing. Just hit hit up all the way. There you go. Boom. Now you have 99 potions and 99 antidotes. All right. Now you want to buy maybe 10 tents? You can just Phoebe, hit... can I have my cord back? Oh, the baby's <laughs> got the cord. The baby's got the cord. He, the baby, no. I, I take it out of one hand. She grabs it with the other hand. Uh, gold needle cures stone. Did I get one of those? Um, you want to buy, you want to have like maybe 10? Okay, so I have... There you go. Cottage. Um, that restores hit points and magic. Yes, so now you want to buy two cottages. Okay. We're going to try to not use them very much. How many tents do you have? Uh, 10. 10, okay. And we'll keep this 7,000 that we got for now. Don't go using a cottage all willy-nilly. The goal is to get all the way there and back without using a cottage. But uh, if we if we get into a, a tight cottage, spot... A cottage is like a temporary backup inn. If yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, an, it's an inn stay. Uh, it is expensive. Um, so... Alright, did you stay at the inn? Oh, I forgot. Oh, we'll go back in there. And here you are at the end. So just go in there and stay at the end and save it. And now you're going to go uh, to the west and kind of stay south. Um, there's a castle you can go to, but you can't get anything from it yet. Uh, so just stay to the south. Don't take the path up north. So you're going west and south. And you should be able to, to get there. And you're what, level, level six? Yeah. Okay. You sh you should be uh, you should be good to go. Just fight all the enemies there, and you should gain a couple levels or something. Right. 
you are loaded for bear. Um, mm -hmm. You know, if you get poisoned, um, then every time you take a step, you get hurt. So you want to use the antidote before you start walking if one of your guys poisoned after a battle. So you want to pay attention to that. Okay? You want to not ha use magic if possible because your magic is limited. You can't refill your magic unless you use a cottage or you return to this town. So the magic you have is all the magic you have for the quest. And there's a boss battle at the end of this. So you want to just be able to just beat them in the face and then, and don't worry about healing in a battle, right? Unless the person is about to die, okay? But if someone's low after a battle, use Get potions potions. to heal them up. It's, it's all about managing your resources. Which isn't that what life is all about, BB. Just managing your resources. Managing your resources. Isn't it? That's right. Yeah. I'm looking at my daughter and she is just absolutely adorable. <laughs> She's making faces at me. And I know everyone says that their kids are beautiful. Um, and and I'll be the first one to tell you if I had ugly kids. And I'm going to have more kids. So if one of them ends up being, being ugly, I will tell you. Um, but they're not. And people have told me. They're like, yeah, we say people's kids look nice. But we're privately, we're like, that, cat, that kid has a funny shaped head. My kid's legitimately good looking. So, there's that. Yes, legitimate goody good looking. Yeah, yeah, they are adorable. Um, so. Excuse me. Uh-oh. Yeah, so he's poisoned. Um, and it conveniently changes their name to Poison. Um, so, uh, they not only have the little green bubbles, but they also can play some, uh, pretty mean shredded guitar riffs. Poison is a, a band of some sort, so that's the joke that I was making there. Um, uh, oh, we'll see the little goblin guards. Oh, did you use an antidote during battle? Yeah. Next time, don't really bother. Just use oh. the antidote right after battle. Okay. The thing is, they could get poisoned again, and then you've just wasted an antidote. Oh, okay. You know, whereas if they... That's two steps. Two steps. That's okay. I mean, it's good. You basically treat it like you're just grinding. <laughs> uh, you know what grinding is, right? When you intentionally get in a battle to gain yeah. levels and money. Yeah, walk back and forth. Okay. But so now we're, we're grinding, just grinding on the way. So, so tell me about your adventurers, okay? What, uh, what's their backstories? What's their motivation? Who are these people that are on this, this adventure? Uh, y'all just appeared uh, at this town. Uh, how, how did y'all meet? Uh, you know... Well, um... Hello, everybody. Here with the Provoca Today news, and I have this breaking story. The Light Warriors have just passed through the town of Eltham, and I'm here giving a uh, exclusive interview with the head of the Light Warriors. Uh, and your name is? Well, I'm... I'm Scout. Hi, Scout. Uh, and, and, and you're a Red Mage, right? Yes. Oh. And my brother, his name is Jim. Hi, and, and what does Jim do? He hits stuff with a big old sword. Jim hits stuff with a big old sword. Fascinating, fascinating. Who are these? Who, who are your friends here? Um, our friends are named Boo and Dill. Ah, oh, oh, Dill. What uh, what does Dill do? Um, he carries the first aid kit mostly. <laughs> oh, oh well, good. Yes, plenty of rocks to stub your toe on around here. And uh, this is an interesting gentleman here, uh, uh, Boo. Um, uh, you, uh, what, what does, what does this uh, person do? We're not exactly sure at this point. Mm hmm. He seems a little shady. I'd keep an eye on him if I were you. We, 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 we kind of just met him and just kind of picked him up along the way.
All right, and uh, uh, as the Light Warriors, um, you all take a serious role in uh, in leadership uh, as, as in in your communities and on a national scale. Would you like to make any comments about the current political landscape? Uh, no. I hear that the uh, King of Elfheim is in a. Uh, a a, a serious, uh, a, a serious re-election campaign uh, against a local, uh, a local half-elf, which have all the elves and Elfheim are scandalized, saying that it should be a full-blooded elf. Really? I thought he was asleep, not up for re-election. Uh, asleep at the wheel of governance, if you ask me. <laughs> Daddy's beat. Who do you? Daddy's beat. Silly. Who who do you think's gonna win the the World Series of Ogre Bowling this year? I hear Provoka's got a pretty good team, <laughs> but Cornelia has always seemed to come out on top. Those guys love Ogre Bowling. Okay. I'm going. Do you have a favorite Ogre Bowling team? The Dwarven team's really shining this year. <laughs> they had a rocky start with their first couple of games, but they've gone th three for three in their last three games. Some people think that they might be able to make the playoffs this year. Really? Man, if that happens, maybe the Cubs will make it to the World Series. Oh, wait, they already did. I'm, I'm not sure. What, what's a Cub? It's a baby bear. I don't, here in the land of Final Fantasy, we don't have these things that you're talking about. Well, anyway, that's all the time we have for today. It looks like the leader of the Light Warriors has gone insane, talking about animals that don't exist. Everybody knows that the only animals that exist here are bug bears. Regular bears are just a thing of fantasy. But this is Final Fantasy. This has been Dilbert Von Hessler for Cornelia... Wait, no, I said I was with the Provoca News. Provoca yeah. News Channel 176. Over and out. Leia doesn't really have a lot of yes-anding skills in her... Uh, in her improvisation. It is also like one o'clock in the morning, so I'm fast I'm fast approaching loopy o'clock here. The point at which I start not making sense. <laughs> So are we going to have to uh, use the tent or uh, sleeping bag? The tents and sleeping bags save it, right? Like, you have a sleeping bag. You can just use a sleeping bag to save it, right? Thanks. Okay, let's try. Well, this is something we have to learn. Okay, so go into your menu. Uh, item. Sleeping bag. We have one. Yeah, go ahead and use it. Also saves game. Yeah, there you go. All right, well, um... I don't think we got to a full hour, but I think we got over 30 minutes. So, uh, there you go, everybody. Uh, this has been uh, Final Fantasy episode of the Young Judge Gamer. Join us next week when we will be uh, actually making some progress in this game, going down and beating the first boss. a slide puzzle over and over. Hey! <laughs> now, it got you all that stuff. I know. It uh -huh. got me all that stuff. Uh, and like, comment, subscribe, and give us your comments in the uh, it, it, down, down below in the comments. Let us know if you want this twice a week uh, instead of just one time a week. Uh, or if you want Minecraft twice a week, let us know that. We're not going to replace one. I would just uh, add in an extra. I would, I would pick a day to release two videos. But right now, we're only doing one video per day. So, uh, if, uh, I, and I would love to release uh, two videos in one day a week, you know, uh, bump up to an extra, but I don't know what people want. Uh, if they want RPG Maker, go to those videos and uh, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know in the comments there that that's the one you want. Uh, if you want uh, more 
of the um, 15 minute uh, willow or, or civilization whichever ones you want the most of like comment subscribe let me know uh, what what you want to be see, see more of um, and, and uh, or go to the old Kingdom Hearts episodes uh, and let me know uh, if you want uh, more more Kingdom Hearts uh, or if you want another specific game that we haven't played before go to our speedy Egbert playthrough <laughs> and comment in the speedy Egbert playthrough what game you want us to play because we're not ever playing speedy Egbert ever again Aww. at all forever Aww. guaranteed but you can comment in the I Speedy like Egbert Egg comments like and Speedy tell me what game you want us to play. Uh, this has been The Untouched Gamer. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, we, we love you all, and uh, we're, we're having just such a good time doing this for you. Uh, so until next time, say goodnight, Leia. Goodnight, Leia.